I mean, the very first night that I played with him, this quote unquote audition, Lars kept on looking at James and James kept on looking at Lars. They kept on smiling. And I was going, what's up with these guys? Are they in love with each other or something? What's going on? But I later found out that they were so happy yeah. that the other person playing guitar was not their old guitar player. And they were so happy that he is out of the picture and I was in the picture with a lot of potential and a lot of possibilities. Well, I mean, yeah, they, 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 they saw all that stuff yeah. even before I saw it, you know? They never really told me that I was in the band. I mean, I figured it out when Laura said, okay, um, in about three weeks, we're going to go up uh, to, uh, uh, to upstate New York and we're going to re record our first album. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. And then I realized I must be in the band because so we're doing the album. Do you fly out to New York to audition now? Yes. And then you go back home? Uh, yeah. Uh, Yes. And then they call you and say, hey, we're going to do a record. No, You're... no, no. Okay. No. Uh, so I fly out to New York. We play a bunch of shows in New Jersey, New York, you know, that whole area. And uh, and then uh, we had to play shows because we were fucking broke. Oh, wow. And we, need, <laughs> we needed to play shows to fucking eat. Yeah. Because, you know, we were on Megaforce Records, and we were the first artist on Megaforce Records. Yeah, it was so basically out of a is, record store. Yeah, yeah, you know, there was no, there was no like, capital uh, uh, or, like, you know, fucking financial resources or It's not a record anything. company. It's a fan who's yeah. actually cool and is, like, putting his, like, own money up for yeah, a record. Yeah, and so, you know... Uh, uh, Ten, uh, I can't remember if it was ten grand or fifteen grand was was uh, was raised, and in, with with that money we had to record our album and also live, and so we were doing that, and then we went up to upstate New York, and we were all just living in one house, and then we, we recorded Kill 'Em All, and then. Cliff and I took a Greyhound bus back from New York to back to San Francisco. It took three fucking days. Whoa! And and nonstop then, on the bus. Yeah, yeah, nonstop, on, <laughs> nonstop on the freaking bus. And then uh, and then Lars and James came back like a week later with the fucking you know a cassette of the album. Wow! Uh, and we all made copies. And 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 then we were home for like you know, like maybe. Maybe a couple, two, three weeks, and then we went back out on the East Coast again and started playing a, a lot more shows because we had to. We had to 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 exist, and then it looked like we were going to be able to go to Europe for our first European tour. And once we got to Europe, we were just we had we were, Europe embraced us. I mean, we sold a lot of tickets. Uh, we, we were selling T-shirts. We were actually able to like uh, uh afford to go from show to show <laughs> in in uh, in all these different places we uh, uh, and it was actually the venom tour yeah that was our, our first tour of, of europe and it worked it worked out it fucking happened to just we we barely did it but we did it and yep. it was fucking eye-opening and great and it, and um it was uh, it, it gave us uh, a a kind of uh um, uh, a plot, you know, uh, uh, it gave us an idea of how we wanted to move forward. And also a brotherhood, like these yeah. four guys that, oh. from, you know, yeah. that have never left, uh, you have yeah. never left Cal El Sobrante yeah. or whatever. Yeah. 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 First they're, you're in New York, then yeah, you're in Europe. Yeah, yeah. Same with James too, you know, <laughs> and probably the same with, with Cliff too. Right. I mean, we, we had, we weren't worldly, we weren't worldly like Lars. He had, he, he was European. <laughs> I yeah. mean, he had he had that kind of experience ahead of us.